In order to download Fabric for Minecraft 1.21, you want to open up any web browser and look up Fabric Download. Then go ahead and press on the first link right over here. Then it is going to take you to this page. Just go towards the top and press on Download. And what we need to do is download the Universal Jar file right over here. So just press on that and then it will automatically download to your computer. Now it might say Unverified Download Block. So just press on it and then press on Download Unverified File and then it will be on your PC. Now for clarity, I'm just going to go ahead and move the fabric installer towards my desktop just for this tutorial and the next thing we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be finding some fabric mods to download. Okay guys, so here I am in modrith.com and this will give you a bunch of fabric mods that you guys can install. So I'm going to go ahead and install the fabric API mod because this is really important and a lot of mods for fabric do require this. So I'm just going to go ahead and just download it right over here. So just press on it. Then go over here to where it says featured versions and then you want to install the one that is compatible for your version. So we're going to be doing this on Minecraft 1.21. So I'm going to download Fabric API for Minecraft 1.21 right over here. And whenever you are downloading any mod for Fabric, it's really important that you double check that it is actually compatible with Fabric because you don't want to download a mod that only works on Forge. You want to make sure that it does support Fabric. So all you want to do is just download it right over here, press on download, and then it's going to say unverified file. So just click on download on verified file and then move your mod right over here and for good measure i'm gonna go ahead and install the sodium mod as well because i just want to show you guys how it actually does work so just click on featured versions see all and you want to install the latest one which does work for minecraft 1.21 go ahead and download sodium bam it'll be right over here make sure you press download on verified file and then i'm gonna move this to my desktop right over here Okay guys, so I have the fabric installer right over here and these are the two mods that we're going to be downloading using fabric. So the first thing we need to do is we need to right click on fabric installer and then you want to find open with and then you should see that there is a Java option. Now if you do not have the Java option, that is perfectly okay. So if you do not see the Java option whenever you try to download it, then what you need to do is you need to download Java 21. So all you need to do is Google Java 21 and then go to this website that says Oracle and right over here it'll provide you with the latest java download so you can pick whether you're on linux mac ios or windows you should be able to get java 21 and once you download it the file should work all right fortunately for me we do have the java option so i'm just going to be selecting on java right over here and then this is going to pop up right over here it's going to say select a minecraft version i'm going to be selecting minecraft 1.21 and you want to make sure that this box is actually ticked on which says create profile it is going to say the low version make sure that's the most recent and it will also tell you the location so just press on install and then bam it should say that fabric loader has installed successfully once you see that all you need to do is open up the minecraft launcher okay guys once you're in the minecraft launcher you want to make sure that you're on java edition and you should notice that there is a option that says a fabric loader for minecraft 1.21 additionally you can go over here underneath installations and then it should be right over here i did download fabric another time for 1.21.1 but this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to do it for minecraft 1.21 Anyways guys, once you see the fabric loader right over here, what you need to do is you need to go over here and select on this folder button right over here. And then what you need to do is you need to find the folder that says mods. So we do have the mods folder right over here. Sometimes you might not see the mods folder. And if that's the case, all you need to do is just create a new folder and just call it mods, all lowercase, do not worry. So what we're gonna be doing from here is we're gonna be opening up the mods folder and then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be inserting all of our mods from our desktop right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and drag in sodium. And I'm also going to go ahead and download the Fabric API mod. And I did download this Iris shader from a while ago. So do not worry about that. But that's how you know that it does work. So anyways, once you got all of those, all you need to do is load it back into your Minecraft launcher. Go ahead and press on play. Select on the fabric loader for the version that you did download and then just press on play and click on this checkbox that says I understand and press on play and then it should load in Minecraft. All right, guys, here we are on Minecraft and you will notice in the bottom, it will say fabric and then modded. And if you're able to tell, we actually do have everything working. We got sodium working right over here and we also do have the fabric API. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you later, French fries.